Flyfish RC have just released a new set of aftermarket antennas for these, the DJI Goggles 2. Now, the original external antennas on these goggles are removable. They actually push in the top and there are MCX connectors that allow you to withdraw the antenna and they are simply a friction fit to hold them in place. Now, whilst there are many aftermarket antennas on the market for these goggles, the big difference with these new ones from Flyfish RC is that they have been specifically designed for the goggles too. The Flip G2 is a very similar design to the original antennas that come on the DJI goggles too. You can see they are a little bit taller, but they have a built-in MCX connector and the same friction fit. Now, the really interesting thing about the Flip G2 antennas isn't the fact that they don't use adapters. It's the fact that the antennas themselves are both dual band and dual polarized. That means they work on both 2.4 and 5.8 gigs, which means you can use them with the DJI FPV remote and they have both horizontal and vertical elements inside, giving you the best of both worlds. They are omnidirectional antennas, which means they're not gonna give you the same out and out range performance as something like a patch, but because they are dual polarized, it should give you the best overall mix of performance. And what we're gonna do in today's video is try and test that out. Now, I just want to say up front, I was sent these antennas for free from Flyfish RC. However, I have not been paid to make this video. They've not seen this video before it's been published. And as always, my thoughts are entirely my own. Now, when you get the antennas, they come in this little plastic hard case. If we just open that up, you can see they're held in place inside in foam. You simply got one for the left and one for the right. Now, just showing you around the antenna a little bit more, you can see, as I've said, it is very similar to the original DJI one. It's just taller. So for instance, if I put it side by side with the DJI antenna, you can see there, there is a difference, but really more than anything, it's just the height that's changed. The rest of it is the same. They are handed. So there's a little R on here to signify that it is the right hand antenna. And if I just point the connectors towards you, you can see that it is exactly the same design as DJI has originally used. Now, installing these on the goggles too is really simple. You simply choose the side you want to swap, give it a tug until it comes out. There's no clips. If your goggles are new, you may find that it's very tight. But once you've got it out, you simply get your new G2. We're going to push it in, push it until it seats down, and then it's all done. You can see it there, folds down against the goggle, and then there flips up just like the original DJI one. Now, once installed, you can see that they are a little bit larger, but it really doesn't change the overall size and feel of the goggles. And when you flip them down again, whilst they are sticking up a little bit more on the sides, it really isn't anything dramatic. Now, it is worth me mentioning at this point, whilst you can install these on the goggles too, they will not install on the goggles Integra. Whilst the Integra are very similar to the goggles too, the antennas on them are hardwired. I'm not going to say they're not removable because everything is removable if you try hard enough but what they're not is removable and replaceable with MCX connectors like they are on these on the goggles too and if you wanted to fit something like this on the Integras you'd have to install pigtails and do a bit more of a modification. Now before I show you some footage and share with you my final thoughts I just want to talk a bit more about the antenna setup on the goggles too and why these antennas may offer quite a large benefit. Now the antennas on the goggles too are set up as follows. We have four antennas in total. We have two externals which both both transmit and receive. The stock DJI antennas are linear. And then there are two internal antennas in the front here in a cross pattern. I'll put an overlay up on the screen so you can see it. These are receive antennas only. They are again linear polarized, but they're in a cross pattern. And the idea of that is it should give you some decent coverage when your aircraft is not flying flat and level. With regards to reception performance, the antenna setup is pretty much perfect. However, from a transmitting from the goggles back to the aircraft point of view, it isn't because the only transmitting antennas are vertically polarized because they're the ones on the top. Because these G2 antennas are dual polarized, it now means that you're going to have both vertically and horizontally polarized elements on transmit and receive and that should offer some benefits especially if you're throwing the aircraft around or you're flying in a non-flat and level situation. Now one thing I do like about these antennas is Flyfish RC are publishing all of the data. Now just for context the original DJI antennas on the top of the goggles too are 3db game. Flyfish 
do have their specification listed on their website showing these antennas to be between 4 and 5 dB gain. But really what's great to see is when you scroll down is that they're actually publishing full charts of data about these antennas as well. So we have an S11 chart showing us the SWR and we have radiation pattern charts as well, which is really great to see. Whilst it isn't unusual for manufacturers to do this, it isn't the case that all manufacturers do this and it does give a bit more confidence in the antenna that you're purchasing, especially when you can see the data from its testing. Next, I'm going to walk you through some of the results of my testing with these antennas. Now, I chose to use the Pavo Pico as well as the DJI Avata simply because they have a somewhat compromised antenna setup as standard and they're easy to use aircraft with regards to testing in trees and stuff like this. Now, I've done penetration testing and I have done some polarization testing, which I'll talk about a little bit more later on, but I haven't done out and out range testing because that's not what I do here. Now, what I'm going to do is lay up footage side by side recorded with the original stock antennas and the new G2s. I tried to keep the setup as similar as I could. What I couldn't do is absolutely fly identical lines but what I did do was multiple tests in multiple scenarios and I have come up with a feeling of how the antennas perform and I want you to have a look at this and come up with your own thoughts. You can see here on the left we have the Flyfish G2 and on the right we have it with the DJI antenna on the same aircraft. I'm literally pointing exactly exactly the same direction with regards to me. The only change really is the antenna itself and my flying on each of the runs. Anyway, I'm going to let this play. Keep an eye on the bitrate numbers. I've also highlighted them below each video for you as well so you can see them a bit easier and then I'll come back and share some thoughts. Okay, so to share with you my thoughts on the Flip G2s. Now, overall, they are not a dramatic improvement over the originals. However, that isn't to say there isn't a benefit in having them. These antennas, as I've already said several times, are dual polarized. So you're going to have that benefit of having transmit antennas on the goggles too, being both vertically and horizontally polarized. So for people in bandos, people throwing their aircraft around, they should 
be some benefit to be had. In my testing, the results are very mixed. There are periods where I saw a benefit and there are periods where they didn't seem quite as good as the DJI. What I will say is overall, I think there is a small gain to be had in general everyday use, but it isn't clear for me today what the benefit will be in places where you are struggling as a result of polarization. It's a very, very hard thing to test. I have tried doing bench testing with things vertically and horizontally and here in testing scenarios, I really can't see a difference, but that isn't to say you won't see a difference in the real world. Overall, if you're looking to get a set of antennas to try and see if you can get an improvement, especially if you are throwing the aircraft around, or you've lost your original antennas on the G2 and you're looking for a replacement, then these are absolutely worth a look. And what's really good about them is Flyfish RC are publishing a lot of data as well. We've got the radiation pattern, we've got the charts, and again, I think you're getting a high quality antenna here, but like all antennas on goggles, all antennas that are similar, the results can be subjective and the results can can vary from person to person. But what I will say is I don't think you're going to be someone who would be disappointed with the performance compared to the originals. It's just questionable at times what the gain will be depending on your setup. Now, if you're interested in getting a set, there will be a link to them in the description. I want to say a big thank you to Flyfish RC for sending it over. I'm really interested actually in seeing people's own results with these antennas as well. I have been monitoring the groups and forums and there has been some good responses on these that people have been testing them already. And overall, most people do feel there is a little bit of a benefit. But if you get a set, please do let me know what you think and I'll pin those comments down below too. Finally, I just want to say if you have found this video interesting, please do make sure you are subscribed. Furthermore, if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon in the description. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. I would not be able to keep making content on this channel without your support. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.